Yo, what's up? It's your boy Nitro High Fire here. Welcome back to the channel. This is the spot where I talk about pretty much whatever I want. I am a filmmaker and entrepreneur and now a YouTuber, which I kind of been posting things on YouTube for a while now, but this is the time where I'm actually going to be posting more and more and more. And so with that being said is I want to talk about uh, the Caitlin Clark situation. I'm going to be talking about a lot of the current events and things on this channel. So if you like those types of things and want to just start a conversation, make sure you uh, hit that subscribe button and uh, join in the conversation in the comments down below. So the question is, does Caitlin Clark deserve more? So for those of you who don't know, Caitlin Clark is a college basketball player who is now jumping into the WNBA. Um, and a lot of people are pretty upset about how much money she is basically going to be making. For uh, She's going to be making roughly $76,000 a year um, with her WNBA contract. And so a lot of people are upset because they feel like she deserves more money. Um, and, the, and the main question is, does she really? Uh, we I don't really know. It just kind of depends on how the WNBA works with their financials. But I will say that um, not many people watch the WNBA. Um, they don't sell many tickets. They don't sell much merchandise um, in comparison to uh, the NBA. And now a lot of people are mainly upset because there is a, a huge wage gap um, with uh, her contract covering, I think it's four years, being um, somewhere around $300,000. And then uh, in the NBA, there's a guy who is the top pick rookie, just like Caitlin. Caitlin is the top pick rookie. Um, he's getting a contract of $55 million. And so, yeah, she's, she's getting somewhere around, if not less than 1% of that. And that is insane difference in payout. And so a lot of people are really upset about that. And so the question is, um, if she was to get paid more, um, if she was to get paid like somewhere close to what he'd be making, how much money does the WNBA really need to be pulling in in order to make that happen? Um, it, it's, it's no big secret that the WNBA does not pay as well as the NBA. This has been something that's been going on for a long, 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 long time now where it's kind of like a lot of these girls who are going to the, the WNBA can kind of make the same money doing a regular job, like being like literally um, I once had a conversation with uh, a Waffle House general manager and no he was a district manager and uh the salary that he told me that they were looking to hire for uh general managers was like a hundred and ten thousand and so that's insane like she can go to waffle house and work there as a gm and make more than she would be in the WNBA. and i, I really think that <laughs> the interesting part about everything is the fact that um Actually, you know what? I want to look that up, actually, to make sure that is key. Now, that could just be that could just be where we're at in our area that he's looking to uh, to hire somebody for that amount. But uh, let's see what Google has to say about the general manager salary for the Waffle House. Let's see, general manager salary. Oh, no, they're not. What? Okay, 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 okay. I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, let's see. Cracker Barrel is making 116k a year. That's crazy. Uh, Panda Restaurant Group. I think that's Panda Express. They're making 92,000. Waffle House. Uh, so I was. So he was wrong, or maybe like I said, particular to his Waffle House. But they they're making 63,000. A year so like at 60 that if you were a GM at Waffle House like you're getting close to WNBA numbers but if you're a GM at Cracker Barrel you're making 116,000 so you're well above WNBA status uh, with, with a salary like that and so <laughs> it's, it's really hard to say that um that the W it, it's really interesting when you start looking at the actual numbers because a lot of people really don't know the price of things until they actually look it up. And so like with the WNBA, like with them coming out with her numbers publicly and kind of getting everybody to kind of see what these people are actually bringing in. 
um, it's actually surprising a lot of people and, and a lot of people are thinking that they should be paid more. I remember um, we were in a conversation um, before where we were talking about uh, manga and anime artists are not being paid as much as a lot of the fans think they should be getting paid. And an anime artist or manga artist clocks in somewhere around $15 an hour, roughly. And uh, I will say, uh, <laughs> making $15 an hour just to draw is pretty good. Like, you could be doing something a lot more laborious, you know, uh, for $15 an hour. But at the same time, though, um, it is not a lot of money. And so the WNBA is not paying a lot of money. So how do we fix this? Um, I don't know if the company is the same or it might be separate than the NBA. Um, obviously, that's probably something that's easily researchable. But right now, the record button has already been hit. So we're here now. Um, if I had to bet, if I had to bet money on it, I would say that the WNBA is probably separate from the NBA. So the possibility of taking finances from one to supplement the other is probably not on the table. Um, that would be an idea. Uh, I thought a really cool idea would be to let the girls try out for the guys team or let, let them try out for the NBA. And if they make it, then bam, you get money there. Uh, <laughs> it's not the, we, we don't really know how well the girls will be able to keep up with the guys. Um, considering these, these, them dudes are pretty much monsters. They over there jumping over cars and, and, and flying through the air and, and, and doing the most. <laughs> like, the, the, these are athletic feats that they're putting out here, bruh. And so, it's really difficult to say how well the girls will do. But if the girls are able to keep up with the guys, then why not get them some monies on the guys level? Um, other than that, the WNBA is going to have to try to figure it out, man. Um, it's really, they are in a good place right now where they have gotten, um, they've gotten more viewers um, since Caitlyn been playing. Um, she's brought in a lot of eyes on the game because uh, she's really good. She be smoking them girls in the court. So they're bringing in a lot more viewers, which will, which will then raise advertisers uh, price advertising prices and so we should see an influx in income with the WNBA which will also give us an influx in payout to its employees slash players and so they should be making more money but um it's crazy that you can totally be a restaurant manager and make more money than girls that are playing basketball in the WNBA now I will say this though I will say that I would rather play basketball than be a restaurant manager. So if I if I got paid, you know, 76 G's to work out and 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 work on my game of basketball, I would be pretty happy with that. But you know, it's kind of like um, wanting, like I guess, being appreciative of what's yours rather than trying to, you know, foster desires of what someone else has. And so, like, look, especially trying to compare the two, uh, though, that's just night and day, how much the NBA is getting paid versus the WNBA. I have seen an interesting post somewhere where they were saying that the real discrepancy is how much the NBA is paying once you look in percentages. So, with the girls being paid what they're paying, um, they're get, their percentage of the wage if I remember correctly, it was somewhere like 25 to 30%. But then if you look at, so like basically 20, let's say 25, so they're like, let's say the players, for example, are getting 25% of all money coming in to the WNBA. And so 25% of that money goes to the players. However, the NBA, you know, the players there, they're getting like less than 1% for goes towards their, their salaries. Even though their salaries are drastically higher, you know, than the girls, they're getting such a smaller percentage being given to them in comparison. When you look at it percentage-wise, that it would be kind of insane if they got like upwards of like 20 to 25 percent 
of the revenue gets put towards their salaries. That would be insane. Like we will see like them, like they're already making the same money. Don't, don't get me wrong, but we will see them making crazy buku money. Like they'll be making the type, they'll be making the type of money where, <laughs> where you can just retire in where like you can retire pretty much majority of places in the world. Like on an NBA salary, like the granite, like if I pulled in $55 million, like over four years and then I just retired after that, for example, like I'm pretty sure I can live for the rest of my life from like 25 to death off of $55 million. Like, like I don't see myself like making that be a problem. If I spent half a million dollars a year up until death, like it, I will still have enough money. <laughs> But anyway, do you guys think Caitlin Clark deserves more? Now, granted, maybe there's more money that can be spread to the to the employees that is not currently going to them, and maybe we just don't know that. But I don't know. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comment section down below. It's your boy Nitro, and I'm out. Peace.